Eastern people um, it's going to be a quick video on um, some major changes we've done to our kit so uh, a lot of people who have used our kit as realistic as it is we've unfortunately of course in few areas struggled because the realism we want is not on the Roblox engine always possible for various reasons for example our thrust um, on those kits have struggled so much because Roblox has different other forces we don't know of um, outside of friction that we can't compensate for um, and this often leads to the point of us struggling to get our planes to accelerate realistically but of course be able to get off the ground and climb um, and so various solutions I've looked at haven't worked and I decided once for all with a decent team of arrows um, in terms of like a high number of arrows I'm gonna try and tackle this once and for all because it would be a major step for me and well looks like we figured out a really good solution for that as you can see I'm turning at pretty much idle okay and you can see we're not losing um, speed instantaneously as we did before we're going right now we're gonna go to max Tyler and as you can see we can turn and we're not losing speed as crazily as we used to okay so we, we, we can actually keep holding this at four degrees now because we have enough idle thrust we can still maintain this real world if you actually got left your plane at this and on a level surface you could actually continue to do this full circle now pretty much obviously we're losing speed because eventually very slowly the more you keep doing this V the slower the plane will eventually get so it's not going to obviously continue instantaneously but as you can see it's acting as it should that's what I wanted to see and so one of the major issues we've always had as I said is that you can get realistic acceleration on the ground by having a low amount of thrust but the moment you try and get the plane into the air it will not be able to lift off because you just don't have enough thrust the blend in between getting a high amount of thrust for skybound travel and of course to your intended altitude for the plane's weight which on this plane at 2000 or 270 tons should be able to reach 43,000 at least easily 36,000 feet higher we can't do that if we're trying to get realistic acceleration and obviously we don't run our plane that rockets off the ground really quickly so this solution to use what's known as a automatic compensator it's known as a Kaizai uh, type of system is really really good um, and again Kai Kaizai just comes from Kaizen and Kaizen is simply to constantly improve and that's all the compensator does it constantly improves um, the forces that may come anywhere from whatever Roblox has so that we maintain the thrust we want the acceleration we want without having to put maximum amount of um, thrust multiplier in the game and then obviously using our acceleration so as you can see we're going to prepare ourselves for takeoff we're going to line this plane up alrighty let's put some brakes on here
However, the PID hasn't been fully tuned yet because there is a few things we need to tune. So, at like once we get into the air, you'll see a bit of speed fluctuating, but that's that's nothing major. This means we just need to tune the PID a tiny bit. This isn't speed lag, like, this is just the PID tunes when it gets to high speed it's not as um, well tuned as we want it to be. This, we just we this did a rough tune just to test things, but once we get to that point we will. So we're going to now set our clamp thrust. Usually you wouldn't use this to set your clamp thrust, you'd actually use your actual throttle, but you know, I'm just being lazy. There we go, we're setting our climb frost. And there we go. Come off the ground, we've had realistic, um, realistic t acceleration, and now we're in the air, we're still maintaining acceleration, uh, well, decent acceleration, and we're still maintaining flight, which is more important. And that's exactly what we wanted. So, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, once my arrows and I, we've done our test, obviously, um, we'll then move straight into the A321 with this new system and all the changes we've done. Um, and then we will ask A350 clients and A380 clients, hey, do you want this new um, rendition of the kit? Like, well, changes to the kit. If they want it, we'll give it to them. They're probably going to want it because who wouldn't want it? Um, and then that should be that pretty much. So as you can see, we're losing speed and we should be losing speed because we've moved from our climb frost, our minimum climb frost at this height, at this altitude is supposed to be 80. So we will, you can expect that we'll start to decelerate. So it's doing that because the drag is surpassing the maximum thrust, which it should. That's exactly what you want to see. So a simple thing would be to either lower my height, my pitch, or to increase the thrust. In the same way, if I go lower, you can expect less thrust, obviously lower speeds. This, this is just a simple knowledge, so I shouldn't really be explaining this to you guys. Um, so yeah, obviously we decide to dump ourselves all the way there, you can expect that speed loss like that. Hopefully we don't stop. So, there you go, you can expect that. So, now if I go straight to full throttle, I can expect the acceleration to be a decent amount, as it should. But you can see the acceleration is not like anything insanely mad. It actually accelerating as it should be. Before, if you did that, you'd see like the speed go massively fast. That's not doing that, it's just doing as it should real well. So that's beautiful. Like, literally, you guys don't understand. When when you finish a creation, and a creation works, it's like pasta, it's delicious. So there we go. Um, pretty much everything there is fine. Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in and come.